Hey guys, Houston from Team Tech here, and today I'm going to be doing, well, I'm going to be getting a soundbar installed for my new LG TV in here, but first it's a little dark. Hey Google, turn on my lights. Sure, turning eight lights on. Philips Hughes. Alright, so this is my LG 65 B7A OLED TV that is, I believe, a year old now. Uh, retails for about let's say $3,300, I think. I, I didn't buy it for that much. I bought it for around $1,800 because it was on sale. And today I'm going to be getting an LG SK9Y for it. Now, if you look behind me, right about there and right about here, there, there are two rear mounted, there are two speakers mounted to my ceiling, uh, there. The, that those are these this uh, wireless surround kit that goes to the back of said LG speaker which I just named now those that speaker is gonna go right about here this is by the way mounted to the wall with uh, just a $13 hangman mount which is actually a pretty good mount like I, I just lie on my bed and then I watch TV and it's actually a really good angle for this TV but my light switch, you know, but then again, I have the killer shoes. So, and then I have a purple LED just chilling back here, uh, you know, doing stuff. So, I'm currently waiting for mailman or the FedEx driver to drop off said package or said soundbar so I can do a quick unboxing, a little bit of an overview for you guys of an entire LG setup with the whole surround in the bedroom setting because I know most people do this in a surround, like in the theater setting. So I wanted to show you guys kind of what that's like. Also mind you guys, I haven't slept in like 12 hours just because you know, I've been doing some stuff, upcoming stuff for the channel that uh, hopefully you guys will like. So yeah, I'm also like, I might fall asleep waiting for this guy. That's why I also have the door tag at my front door just in case so he can leave the box there. Hopefully nobody takes it. Just mean if you sign. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure if I was gonna be awake or not. If you're not here I can leave it. So if you are leaving somebody take it, you can claim it. <laughs> that means gone. Okay. Good, you want me to sign something or? Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty. We got it. Alright, so here we have it. Uh I didn't know how exactly to set this up, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of do like this, I guess. I'm gonna just, fuck, I'm gonna just kind of just lay it on the bed and I'm gonna just get cracking. It's a big boy, it's a... It's not wet. So, hopefully this pans out not terribly. Um, take these bad boys off first. I mean, it's welly, it's welly packed. Properly packed. Hopefully, it's properly packed on the inside as well. CGI coverage. I'm gonna not do the side that has my address on it. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun. Clean up all of this. so I could see what's going on. Oh. Uh, I can't really get the whole thing in the frame. Let me see if I can adjust this at all. That's better. That's the whole thing in the frame. Oh, now it's, oh, it's uneven. Too so much weight on the front. All right, yeah, perfect. garbage is taken care of as I'm unboxing it so won't make a mess later alrighty I believe that's all the 
Ow, ow, the scissors just dropped on my foot. Ow, ow. Okay. Throw that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. Throw that in there. Alrighty, my address is not, not, not there, hopefully. Oh, no, it's not in the fair. Okay, okay, good. Wow, these scissors are sharp. I think I just cut myself. I did just cut myself. These are some sharp scissors. These are some really sharp scissors. I'm gonna get a band -aid. Got more mail. More package list. Uh, this, I know what this is. I'm not helping that. This, what is this? What is this? Oh, these are gonna be lights that go on uh, the rim of my boosted board there, which I'm gonna be doing a custom grip tape for and uh, lights on. That'd be nice. This is a wrist rest. A wrist rest for my for my for my mouse. I should leave right there. Put there. All right. Where was I? Not cutting myself again. Got a band aid. Hopefully, I don't mortally wound myself this time. Edges. Smells, smells good. Got that new soundbar smell to it. Top is a soundbar. Alrighty. Huh. It's not that heavy. It has heft to it, but it's not that heavy. I believe it's about. I probably shouldn't have dropped that like that. I believe it's about 12 pounds. Something similar. Nothing over there, the subwoofer. And then you got the accessory kit with the mounting bracket, which I will definitely be needing to use. But I will be well mounting this. Mounting bracket. Uh, are these mounting bracket instructions? I really hope these are mounting bracket instructions. Wall bracket insulation guide, nice. TV bottom line, sound bar top line. Oh, you're supposed to use this as like an outline. I see. You're supposed to like use this, place it against the wall to help you mount it. Huh. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get the subwoofer out. Oh, that's a hefty boy. I believe that's coming in at around 16 pounds. back inside the box. tape this box back up because it'll go into storage just in case anything ever happens to the soundbar or I manage to break it somehow right now which is highly possible knowing me let's go to the side let's get a look at the soundbar 
package there. LG new soundbar. I wish I could have gotten the SK10 wide, but I couldn't find one on as good a deal as this one was. And as far as I'm concerned, the only difference between the SK10 wide and the SK9 wide is the size and the Meridian technology collaboration. Like I said, as far as I'm concerned. Nice cloth material that this soundbar is wrapped in right here. Nice cloth. There's a nice open cutout for that to come through. And a nice matte top. Top. All right. Let's wall mount. Wall mounting guide, yeah, does it come with screws? I do not think it comes with screws. These are not screws. I do not think these are screws. I think, no, those are screws, but... Those are screws, but they're not the right screws. Oh, they're screws to mount to the sound bar. And they once, okay, so it specifically tells you, focus, ah oh, yes, okay. It specifically tells you to buy the screws. So I'm just gonna use um, some wall mountable screws, some drywall screws and hopefully I can get some studs to line up with this here stud finder that I have. And the auto focus ain't working. I'm gonna use this here TV installation guide. Help me out a bit. All right, find the drill. These are two. These two just mount up in there. Those go like that. Is there a channel that I can route this through? space where I can just like jimmy it into the behind of the sound bar and probably route it downwards. So let's see here. These are the screws, I wanna lose those. Are these the exact width? Yes they are. All right, so that's the, so the TV center would be, I'm assuming I punched holes through this. I'm assuming that I punch a hole there for the TV center, which is probably where the power button for the TV is. It's right at the bottom, so that's convenient.
That one is a stud. That's a stud right there. That one needs drywall screws. Let me just see how the fitment. Try that again. Solid. Good thing we had drywall screws on hand because I was really not wanting to go out and buy some today. It feels really solid. It's not level, or at least it's not all the way level. Like, if you're really looking at it, you can tell, but I don't really mind that. I don't think that box is going to fit here anymore. I'm not sure. Let's plug this bad boy in. Oh, before I screw it in. I have to put the HDMI cable in before I screw it in. It's turning out to be a bigger project than I initially thought. I believe this is the one with ARC. I'm gonna assume that it is. Two, which one's the one with ARC? Cause I have two HDMI cables running. Which is why I'm questioning it. look up the back of my TV right quick because I don't want to take it off of the wall. HDMI 2 is the arc, which is what this is connected to, I believe. perfectly on the studs. Nice. Alright, so we can screw them in now. I believe. I believe it's, I believe it should be okay. One 
one screw. Uh, so one. And that's two. We now have mounted a soundbar. I believe I, I believe we have mounted a soundbar. Now, uh, now comes the subwoofer. Which has a similar plug to the, oh, it has a similar plug to the TV. to the sound bar with a solid grain. Actually, about to start digging through clothes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sound. Out. Arc. Soundbar says ARC. Leave, we are good to go. Simple link on. Alrighty, so now I have to plug in the back speakers. So it's pretty much done. Uh, the rear speakers paired like immediately. It was like really simple and really straightforward. So you plug the subwoofer in, it looks for the soundbar, it pairs in like two seconds. You plug in the uh, sync box, which is under my bed right now. And uh, that pairs two seconds too, and then it's just seamless. So I have some Dolby clips here and just want to see if I can I mean it's not gonna really come through well on YouTube just because most of the audio is converted to 2.0 so you can't really get the full benefit but I'm just gonna play it just to play it let's try this one
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. The sound bar sounds absolutely fantastic. And when you're sitting on the bed and you hear those rear speakers firing at you from all the different angles and you can really feel the spatial awareness of where the sound's coming from, uh, definitely a recommendation to buy, especially since the price has dropped to around $350, $450, around there, depending on when you catch the sale. But uh, definitely a recommendation to buy, even if you do buy it without the rear speakers, I definitely recommend the soundbar. Now, be sure to stay tuned for all of the upcoming content that we have, such as that booster board update that's going to be a really fun one, changing the grip tape, putting the lights on, maybe even changing the wheels, maybe doing 120 mil uh, 100 millimeter bower constrictors sometime in the future. But that's definitely going to come within the next week for the grip tape change and the lights. That's all going to be within the next week. Should be coming sometime, maybe like seven days from when this video gets uploaded. So that'll be definitely coming soon. And another surprise content or some more surprise content will be coming directly after that. So be sure to stay tuned. Appreciate it. This has been Houston from Team Tech. Keep on teching.